so now we're talking a little bit about the little guy Mini Max. Uh, and honestly, a lot of the same things apply with the Max and the Mini Max as far as the overall construction goes. Um, the frame is a you know a two by three tubular steel instead of two by four, but it still has the automotive paint finish on it. Um, same windows, same build process as far as the sides and the and the roof goes, and the components that we use, tabletops, counters. But there are some differences. The Mini Max is smaller, obviously. It's smaller. It's lighter. It's 17 feet two inches uh, long. It's um, six foot nine inches wide. It's uh, eight foot. Uh, 8.6 without the uh, Rough Rider package and 9 foot 1 with the Rough Rider package. I might be off a few inches here and there. Probably am. But things change all the time. But that's a rough idea uh, what the dimensions are. It weighs around 2,300 pounds. It has gone up a little bit. We've increased the uh, axle. We put a different gas bottle cover on the front here. We've gone to a different table and some other things. So the weight has gone up. But the GBWR has gone up to 3,500 pounds as well. So you can haul a lot more with the unit. Um, starting with the front, you know, you have the same same type of windows here. They may not be as big because it's a smaller unit overall. Uh, same leveling jacks, same uh, crank here on the front. It's still a two-inch ball. Same wiring harness. Diamond plate toolbox. That's where you put your, your battery and your, your propane bottle. And there, still have a leveling jack. So that's kind of the front of the little guy, Mini Max. Okay, so now we're on this side. Jessica told me I made a mistake, which is fine. It's actually 8 foot 11 without the Rough Rider package. And with the Rough Rider package, it's 9 foot 1. So, anyway, while we're talking about the Rough Rider package, it basically is a bigger industrial tire and wheel. Tire and wheel. It makes picks off the ground a little bit, makes it a little bit more industrial, makes it look cooler. So, a lot of people get the Rough Rider package. This particular unit has a Rough Rider package on it. Uh, here's your, um, again, your dump for your, your holding tanks is over here. Up here is your LED light for light at night. Here's your 30 amp cord for plugging in. This is your fill for the shower, just like the Max. This is your cable hookup, you know, just like the Max. So like I said, there's a lot of redundancy here, but since we're doing the video, we'll go ahead and keep going around the trailer. This actually still has uh, the external shower. So you have your hot water and your cold water shower is the same shower system that we use on the uh, little guy max okay so the back of the little guy mini max one thing that's good about this smaller unit is we have the optional solar panel on there it's a 100 watt panel uh, that's on there so you can see what that option looks like something else is new if you want to add additional 100 watt panel to either one of the units the max or the mini max that option is available now as well so keep that in mind you have your stabilizer checks just like the max you have your receiver rack here, ply card for 150 pounds. You have the rear uh, stargazer window, as we call it. Now, on the Mini Max, as I mentioned before, this is an option. Uh, on the Max, the rear window is standard. On the Mini Max, this is an option. I'd have to say 99.9% .9 of the people who get the Mini Max absolutely want to get this stargazer window. Okay, over on this side, you know, just like the Max, I want to bring this out. We're using seamless on top there are no seams on the top we are using as nail for the side walls and the top uh, aluminum cage construction there's no wood in the structure of the mini max just like the max so in reality they mirror each other it's just a smaller smaller little brother if you will here's your storage they gave with a magnetic slam latch there there's a light plenty of storage in here there's your heater you have your external propane line if you want to cook outside, if you want to tailgate. This particular one does have the blue, which is nice, uh, trim option. Same thing here, you have the uh, TV bracket, external speakers out here. You do have your power stations and charging ports as well. There is your mount if you hang the TV out here for your HDMI and your cable to go there. Your lighted handle. Antenna for the radio here, the LED light here, and also, you know, we have the same windows that we had on the Max. So they're all dual panel, they're acrylic, they're insulated. You may want to watch the Max video if you want to see an overall look at the windows. But there's less windows in here because of the smaller trailer. Nonetheless, it still has the same quality and features. Okay, before we zip inside here, I do want to talk about the windows again because it's such a selling feature of the product. 
Again, here you have the dual panel acrylic insulated windows that are very European uh, style. In all of the units, you have the embedded screens, which is awesome. You also have the shades. That's all embedded in the window. Like I said, they're tinted. They're insulated. I keep hitting that feature, but you take your hand here, one on the inside, one on the outside, and you look up in there, you're going to see about an inch, inch and a half, maybe two inch barrier. What that means is the windows are insulated, so it keeps warm in the winter, cool in the summer, and it more importantly, keeps quiet when you're at a campground. You don't hear all the noise. Traditional RV windows are eighth inch glass. There's no insulation. There's no R, R value. When you have differences in temperature, like going into the fall, you're going to get condensation inside the trailer. Condensation means moisture. Moisture means trouble in a, in a camper. So we don't we don't have those issues here because they are insulated. We don't have the condensation factor that some of the RVs have. We have a lighted handle here as well as you go into the unit. Uh, the aluminum step, like the Max, won't rust, won't bind on you from rust, things like that. Rough Rider package on this unit as well, the larger 15-inch tires. And then, of course, you have this screen, which everybody loves a screen here. So that's embedded, that's standard on all the units. It opens and closes, just like the door here. If you like the Max, this will open up. Give you all that cross ventilation. Give you all that airflow going through the unit. You never have too many windows in the camper, right? That's why you're out. You want to be out camping and enjoying the enjoying the scenery. So we make sure we have a lot of windows in this. Okay, so coming into the door here, I want to show you something after you buy your trailer, which I hope you do. So come in over here, and you have a storage area here as well. And this is where you're going to find all of your manuals. You're going to find your power cords. You're going to find jack here to raise and lower your stabilizers you're going to have your all of your information here as far as your, your warranty goes manuals for the different components also there'll be a flyer in there for the teardrop shop the teardrop shop is a separate business but on there you can buy all kinds of accessories for really any teardrop trailer but the minimax has a feature that's pretty unique. It's called Keter Rail. And you see this channel here. So you have it here, you have it down here, and it goes all the way around the perimeter of the trailer, all the way to the bottom, up to here. So what you do is, and this is a big deal, you know, you can double the living space of this trailer without affecting the weight, which I think is pretty awesome. So this channel here, you can pull this black piece out and at teardropshop.com, you can purchase a screen room, for example, that's custom made for this. And it will virtually double the living size. So it, it interfaces with this Keter rear where you, you slide it in there. And the screen room comes all the way out to about here. It has a sewn-in floor. It has screens. It has privacy panels. Uh, you also can get a visor. You can get an awning. But those accessories are a big deal for the Minimax because you can really, really double the size of the unit and not affect the weight. There's also Keter Rail on the other side. So you can have the screen room here and put beds out there or chairs out there. Or you can tailgate out there and hang the TV out there. On the other side, you could put the awning. And that allows you to take a shower if you want to. So teardropshop.com has all kinds of accessories. Uh, covers and everything else, but this Keter rail is something that I want to make sure that you understand that is on the trailer, why it's on the trailer, and how it can benefit you and your camping experience. So now we're on the inside of the, of the Little Guy Mini Max, and this in the front, which is different than the Max, obviously, we have the, the kitchen in the front of the unit. Uh, we also have a really nice window here in the front of the unit, which has the same, you know, the blinds and the shades that we talked about earlier. So we have all those features here. It opens up. Uh, we also have the new countertops, which we talked about earlier inside the factory. We talked about we went to this type of a countertop. It's a, it's a higher grade countertop. It uh, is much more durable than the one we were using before. So the, the table and the countertops, we have all gone to the, the black here. Also, the woodwork is you know, the same as the Max. You're going to notice all dovetail construction on our cabinetry. They're real hardwood. You don't have pressed particle board in here. It's like you buy in your kitchen. So you have a lot of storage under here. 
Here's that silverware drawer. Same thing we had in the Max, but it has all kinds of room for, for silverware. It has addition here. It has the ball bearings here on the side that like you'd find at your house. So um, it's a very residential, it's very high end, very high quality. This is the maple hardwood, which we're offering now is pretty much the maple. Your microwave is down here. It's your basic microwave. Down below here, we have more storage for towels and things like that. So the front kitchen, it's the um, same as it has been before. I'm six foot two. You can see that I'm pretty much standing up in here, which is kind of nice. So some of our competitors are the same size. I can't even stand up. I got plenty of room in here. Now over here, we have the shower. Same thing as the Max, pretty much, only it's a little bit smaller of a shower. We have the solid shower doors now. Okay, so let's talk about the fridge in the Mini Max, which is is a it's, it's pretty amazing. It, it's different than the Max, and that's one of the features of this one. It's, it's a Norcold fridge. It's about five cubic feet. But when you open this, you're going to see all kinds of room, and you always need room when you're in a camper, especially for eating, right? So we open this up here, and look at that. She has all kinds of food. Must be lunchtime here. Got some birch beer, got some blueberries, some hot dogs, corn. And down below here, it's like a vegetable crisper. So that's kind of an extension of the refrigerator, but that's a lot of space for sure in this trailer. And up here, you know, you have your, your freezer that's on top here. So if you want to freeze something, ice cubes, you can make those up top. It is a three-way fridge, so it's uh, electric, it's propane, and 110 power, you know, made by Norco. But that's one of the big, big features of the Mini Max is the size of the fridge. You don't find that in too many other travel trailers. Okay, so we're sitting back here in a dinette slant sleeping area of the little guy Mini Max. You're going to see here, of course, we have a window on this side, which opens and closes and has all those cool features about the blinds that we've been talking about. So that can open up like this. And you get your blinds, shades, and then your blinds here. You have lights up here that can light this up in the evening for reading. Over here, you have your, your TV, your solar charge controller, speakers here for, for that come off the radio, external storage cubbies up here above you, and a reading light back here behind you, which is really, really nice. And the charging station, I think I pointed that out here. So that's where your, your TV is, your solar charger, your speakers. Now, the nice thing about the Mini Max is that <clears throat> this table will drop down into a 76 by 70 sleeping area. So you can have that configuration. Or some people like the fact that they'll have one person lay down where I'm laid, laying down and someone lay down over here, and it's a twin. But the table here does drop down to the queen configuration for sleeping. And I could demonstrate that for you as well. But before I do that, you know, we have the stargazer window here that we have all the way around that opens and closes and you have the screens and blinds. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how this table drops down for the sleeping configuration. Okay, so let's talk about the, uh, the dinette configuration converting over to a sleeping configuration. It's very easy to do. Um, what you do is these cushions are going to have to come back here a little bit. You pull this back, and the same table that's used in the Max, we use in the Mini Max, so it operates the same. We got a video on how you unlock it and lock it. But basically, there's a little clip here in the front. It has a yellow head on it. You flip that over to the right, and you pull down towards you, and the table is just going to drop just like this. You move this up front. Then we have a slat that pulls out here that kind of fills in the gaps. So then all you do... Take your cushions now, lay them right here, like so. Lay this here. Fill this one over here. By the way, these are very high-end, high-quality cushions. It's like being on a, on a yacht. So now your sleeping configuration is all set. You can sleep north and south or east and west, but that's basically all there is to it as far as setting up the, the bed.